Hey guys, so we are getting ready to head to Utah tomorrow morning, bright and early, that's why it's dark. Packing up the van, getting some stuff ready. I want to show you guys what the van is gonna look like when we are driving 12 hours with nine children and give you a little bit of insight into our packing tips, how we're doing it all, and how we plan on surviving the drive. I am driving solo, if you can count it solo with nine children, meaning no other adult or driver to help me. So this is gonna be tricky, but it should be fun. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I'm packing for all these billions of children. We decided to break it up with a big suitcase for all the five girls, um, a big suitcase for the three big boys, and then I will pack a smaller suitcase for myself and for baby Dean. So here's what it looks like. Big suitcases, this is for the girls. Over here I've got Juliet stuff, Kira stuff, Vivian stuff. It's all wrapped up in um, outfit packages, which I love doing. I taught my girls how to do this. So they'll take, you know, a pair of pants or a skirt, a t-shirt and underwear, roll it up, stick a rubber band around it, boom. They just pull that out each day and get dressed. And I put a couple of jackets, some spare underwear and someone's stuffed fox. <laughs> and then on this side, I have uh, put together the baby girl stuff. So Mimi and Alice, they need diapers at night and Alice still needs diapers during the day. They've got a jacket on top, swimsuits tucked in here. And I haven't been quite as picky about organizing their stuff. I just kind of stack them into outfits because I'm the ones that, one that's going to be pulling them out and then extra underwear on top because I always need extra underwear for little girls. Okay, so so far we've only loaded the non-perishable stuff and um, everything but the suitcases in the car. So I'm going to show you what we've got so far. This is the back of the van so far. We've got a pack and play crammed in here. We've got some floaties for when we go swimming. Um, back here is a cute little bed that I bought for this trip specifically for Dean. It's a big uh, kind of dome bed and play thing. That'll keep him safe for playing outside, um, go to the park or whatever. And he can sleep right by my bed without me worrying about rolling over on him. So we won't have his best in it. This is like one of those collapsible wagons. We love this so much more than a stroller because we can throw the diaper bag in several kids and take them to the park wherever we need to go. We're also planning on going to an amusement park while we're there. So that's the plan for that. I'm also bringing a bouncy chair and I probably don't need it, but because we're going to be staying in an Airbnb and staying with some friends, I really like a comfortable place for him to just hang out so I don't have to be holding him all the time. That's one of the struggles of going on vacation with a baby. It seems like there's never really any safe place to lay him down. Um, so I think uh, having a bouncy seat is gonna be worth the hassle of hauling it. So my trick is with this big van is to always close one door, shove as much stuff in that corner as I possibly can, like so, <laughs> glassy. And then we're going to hopefully fit two big suitcases back here, and then one of the smaller ones under some little kids' feet up front. Dark view of the car. Baby Dean is gonna go right here. Um, either Finn or the twins will go in that booster. We've got a um, car seat for Alice right here, another booster, and then a car seat for Mimi and the third booster in the back. The big kids can find spots in one of those three places and so three kids per row that's about how it's gonna work maybe four in the back and give somebody a break for from sitting up front because up front is the most high maintenance that you have to keep Dean happy because our van is a big 12 passenger van we don't have any console in the middle which has always driven me crazy so I got one of these crates at like Target or Walmart or something and this is where I stash my diaper bag and water bottle or anything else I don't want to go rolling all over the car when I'm driving. So we have this little portable garbage can right there, which we always keep in the car. That is super handy on a trip. We always have a box of tissues. If you could see up there in the dark, we've got a couple rolls of toilet paper, or sorry, paper towels, um, a baby wrap, a fan in case the baby gets hot, a book that I'm working on that I don't want to get lost, and some DVDs. We also have a case full of DVDs right there. So we do have a movie in the car. But the plan is to alternate between watching some movies um, and listening to some audiobooks and having a little bit of quiet time. Now, I've noticed in the past that if we just do movies nonstop hour after hour after hour, my kids get really irritating. <laughs> they start getting bored of screen time, picking on each other, etc. But if, it be, if it's still like a privilege, like we're gonna watch a movie and then we have two or three hours of no movie, even if there's other entertainment, like I said, audiobook we're gonna listen to, let kids read their own books, color, look out the window, whatever. We're gonna try doing some of those old fashioned games that we did when we were growing up. 
like the license plate game where we get to try to find license plates from different countries or different states or um, doing the alphabet game finding signs with every letter of the alphabet a bunch of fun stuff you can do that will give their minds and brains a little rest time I've also noticed that when the little ones need to nap and they get really cranky in the car if a movie is on it's really hard for them to just ignore it and fall asleep if we have a little bit of quiet time it allows those little ones to nap so that's the plan um, the other plan um, is that because we have so many little ones that need to potty a lot, I am doing pre-chosen stops. So instead of like, oh, somebody has to potty. Oh, quick, find a gas station. Let's pull over. Um, I'm telling them, okay, our next stop is two and a half hours. You're going to have to hold it till then. Everybody goes at every stop. And then I show them on the map, tell them how much longer we have to go. And um, they can even watch it on the map on my phone. Watch us progress if they want to do that. So I hear, I'm hoping that, that works better than it has in the past. So wish me luck. Okay, so we managed to get off at 7.20. We're about to, ready to pull out. Just wanna show you guys how we finished loading up and we're gonna hit the road. We got boys suitcase right here, my, uh, all the girls, mine and Dean's, all that baby stuff is so crap. Cram back there, box of cereal. <gasps> hey guys. Mom. What? Is it as long as Endgame? Is it as long as Endgame? It's yeah. like three times as long as Endgame, this drive. Yeah. 10 hours, wish us luck. 12. We've got all the water bottles up here. We're gonna uh, distribute those in a minute. All the food in a bag right here. It's both for the Airbnb when I get there and the trip. And my trusty pool pilot. Heck yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're at stop number three already. We did pretty good, Who's huh guys? Five. Every two to two and a half hours, it we've been taking me. stops, <laughs> having suckers, feeding babies, Thank and you. we had yeah. some lunch at McDonald's, huh? Hey, look at me, look at me. Been a little bit of screaming, but so far so good. We watched a movie for a while, several hours, listened to Harry Potter for a while, had some quiet time, babies took naps. So far so good. Yeah, I, I, in the car. <laughs> look at me, look at me. We forgot that we lose an hour going to Utah, so it might be closer to 9 sweaty. or 10 when we get there. I was sweaty on my back. My water sweaty bottle. on my back. Yeah, we got everybody water bottles like this. They're the really awesome non-leaking kind, so everybody's had their drinks, and then we all you potty push, in our breaks, you right? Red button and then drink out of it. Another pro tip, if a little kid, or even a big kid, has to go to the bathroom and you're not ready to stop, give them a diaper. Yeah. Works for us. When we stop. Just sit on it, pee yeah, on it, throw it away ball. next time. <laughs> okay, we are on the home stretch. We just stuck this little corn dog and ice cream place and my kids were utter nightmares. Total psychopaths. I have to show you this view, it's gorgeous. Anyway, it was embarrassing. <laughs> I was like threatening all the things. We just got back in the car. All right, time to keep going. Once you're in the car for 10 hours, I guess that's your limit. So we're just luck on the home stretch. We're going kind of bananas because there's snow up here. It's June 1st and we're seeing snow. Yeah, Utah, what are you doing? <laughs> One of the though. pools gonna be, you know, frozen. I don't think it will. Oh, we made it. I can't really believe it, but we did. We made it in like right about 13 hours, which for a 10 and a half hour drive, I think is pretty dang good with a million kids and all the bathroom breaks. So I gotta show you our Airbnb here. You can't see much in the dark, but I'm gonna show you in the morning because it looks gorgeous. We got a pool table. We got a pool oh, ball table. Oh, oh, oh. Big living room. Oh, oh. Let's do it. Thank you. Stop. Pretty sweet kitchen. A couple of two, oh, a couple of bedrooms over there that can sleep four total. And then check out this kids room right here. There's no door! There's no door, it's just a curtain. Okay, hey, come here, let, come here. What you doing, Alice? Alice, what's Mom, 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 Mom,
Mimi. Mimi. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm sitting up there. Perfect. Yeah, I'm sitting down there. Perfect. 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 Yeah, I'm Perfect. Perfect. All right. It's good. So, pretty sweet. Kids are excited. Watching a movie in here. <laughs> we got a fireplace, big TV. Oh, and there's our little Dini. Dini, did you have a good trip? Did you have a good trip, Dean? <laughs> he was such an angel. Coincidentally, or uh, miraculously, he actually slept seven hours last night before this trip. I was honestly really freaking out because I thought for sure that I was just gonna fall asleep on the drive. I thought, I haven't had a full night's sleep in two months. What am I gonna do? And then he slept seven hours last night. 10, like 10.45 ish to about 5.45. And I woke up just thinking, bless you, my child. <laughs> then he actually ate and fell back asleep. Um, but I had to get up. So seven hours was pretty dang good and it felt amazing. And I did not even feel drowsy on the drive. So hallelujah. We had a great time. Stay tuned for the rest of our trip. We got a little playground out here. All right, let's watch it. Hi, Alice. Don't back my head. like up on this awesome mountain. It's so beautiful. Ready, set, go. This is like a handle thing. Ready, set. I fall down and I fell on my knees. <laughs> These are rocks, but in the rain, a wind on the rocks, and now they're all soggy. No, they're not rocks. It's like rubber. Ready, set, go. You didn't scrape your knee on Ready, set. Whoa, they ruined on the hill. Go! Nice. Yeah, isn't this view awesome? So pretty. So we rented out the basement unit of this house. Pretty awesome. A couple of bedrooms. A couple of bathrooms. What? <laughs> Kids kept wanting to swim, but I'm like, I don't think so. It's considerably cooler here than we're used to. Who all does? All right, it's Sunday today. We survived church, although, in all honesty, going to church with nine children by yourself is pretty much worse than driving 12 hours by yourself. Because <laughs> at least they're strapped into their chairs. But I want to show you guys this house we're staying at. Super cute. <gasps> Look at that view. Whoa! So pretty. Check it out. Okay, we thought it'd be a good idea to come to Lagoon, an amusement park, with nine kids um, and some friends, not just no husbands. So here we are. Ready, Toby? Oh, Toby! Oh my gosh! friend's house, one of my college roommates, and check out this gorgeous property of hers. Don't eat her, bear. She's 
has a soggy diaper. <laughs> I'll stop right there in the face for a second. You lost your head, yeah. Dan. <laughs> but then... Yeah, 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 yeah. Baby Dan, you know what she said. home just barely <laughs> sleepy kids messy car and the gas light went on right as we pulled into the neighborhood good trip Toby <laughs> well we made it home I feel like a bleary-eyed zombie that one took us 13 and a half hours but we made it hallelujah um, everything is relatively unscathed uh, one of the best decisions I ever made was to hire cleaners while we were gone Came home to a sparkling clean house. It was amazing. Save for the fact that there was like 30 dog poops all over my bedroom floor. <laughs> Our neighbor came over and was taking care of the pets, but apparently she thought that was going to be a good idea to go poop in my room and kept returning apparently to the scene of the crime. Um, yeah, so that's going to be fun. This little guy's been such a trooper and I couldn't have asked for a better baby. The trip up, he was seriously an angel. The trip back, he cried more and I felt really bad for him, but... We're home now. Whew. Luke gets home from his trip tomorrow. Hallelujah.